Hi everyone. I hope you are having a good day. So today I am gonna do a tutorial on Raspberry Pi. So here I have the latest version of Raspberry Pi as of now, which is the Raspberry Pi 4, and it has two gigabytes of RAM. I know this is not the best, but this will do a lot for us. So what I am gonna do today is that I am gonna set up a Discord account which will control it globally from anywhere in the world. So for this to work, uh, we need to install some libraries and then we will control text to speech using our bot on on a Discord server and this all of this will happen via internet. So you can also do stuff like control a relay and control lighting via relay, control some LEDs and do another hardware stuff or use some sensors with it. But I'm not gonna do all of that since that will make our time go by a very big margin which I'm not going to do. So I'll just set up a speaker which will do some text to speech using a Linux tool called Festival Lite. So as you can see I've left the upper case open since I'm going to do some calling on it using a USB fan that I've set up already. You, you will also need a power supply this is the official power supply and this is our USB fan which I am going to do, use to do some cooling so let me set it up in here so this will go like this now this step is optional not all of you have to do it but since I have a Raspberry Pi 4 which has a lot of power hunger and gives us a lot of heat I am going to use this so let us give this a bit of power and then we will see what happens so here I have it so let me connect it in here and there we go looks like there's some problem with the fan no need to worry and there we go the fan is running there was another thing which I forgot to tell you you need to you can also follow it with other versions of the Raspberry Pi this is not for the version sensitive so but it needs to have Wi-Fi since a lot of versions don't have Wi-Fi or maybe Ethernet so so let's get started I'm gonna go on the computer so now we are on the computer so now what we need to do is we need to connect the speaker to our raspberry pi so i have set up the speaker now here i have the cable so to connect it oh my god i'll take it down over here and there we go now let's check if the speaker is working or not so for that we need to log in into our raspberry pi using ssh so first go into your router page and see if the raspberry pi is connected to your network or not and there we have it it is connected so i forgot to tell you this but first you need to if you are doing this for the first time you need to do some settings so that it connects to your wi-fi automatically using the password so to do this uh, if it is connected then you will go into the command prompt and you will use a ssh client built into windows called open ssh so for that if you are not already enabled it, you need to enable it. Uh, just find it on the internet, search it on the Google and you will get how to enable it. So for that, we will need to say SSH and then the username that you have set into your Raspberry Pi. For in, in my case, it is Pi. So Pi at the date and then you need to enter that IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So it is 192.168.1.101 as you can see it is over here one this is this IP address so so press enter and now you it will ask for your password if you are doing this for the first time your password will be raspberry and then here we are so you need to create a folder called uh, anything such as mm, discord project discord project so i've already created it so i won't do it as you can see it is over here discord project so we need to go into it so 
discord project and in here we need to install some libraries so you need to install discord library so it will with reinstall discord.py so now it is important that you enter pip3 and not pip because uh, raspberry pi has both python 2 and python 3 and we need to do it in python 3 so that's what you will do and sorry discord now it will take a few minutes to install and i have already installed it so it it says uh, requirement already satisfied so now uh, we need to go ahead and install the festival light software which will uh, help us do text to speech it is a tool for linux so i have a web page over here uh, this tells you how to do it uh, a few simple steps are there like downloading and extracting and then installing it so i have the link in the description you can check it out right now so let's go ahead and close it because i have already done it here as you can see it is so now we need to check if the speaker is working or not so we'll say speaker test and that was a loud sound and we know that the speaker is working now so now what we need to do is uh, let us see how flight works so festival light or flight works like this flight and then you will have to enter a flag t which stands for text and then in quotes you will have to say your text like hello and then after that the voice you want to use now i want to use a voice called slt uh, which is a female voice so let us hello see and it works fine so now mm, i have a script in here called bot.py so we need to enter it let's see how i made it bot.py so now as you can see there we have a script it is a very short script so now what it does is that it imports two libraries os and discord.py that we just installed and then we create a this a client object and we and in the last we run it if we are running the script directly and one thing i forgot to tell you was this token so f to get this token you go into not this you go into discord app.com slash developers and slash applications and in here as you can see we have to create a new application and let us name is tts bot and click on create this will take a few seconds and there we are on the page and this is our bot page now first you will have to go into the bot tab and add bot add bot and yes to it and in here we can see that there are a few things now after you have done this you have to go into oauth2 and then here we'll have to click on bot and then there we can see there is a link and copy it and now we have to go into our discord and let me tell you one thing for this step and the next step we you need to have a discord account so go ahead and make it now so i have already logged in into a discord account and let i have opened it now it will take a few seconds and there we go now what you need to do is uh, you need to create a discord server now i have already created a discord server search on the internet how to do it because it is a very simple step i don't think i need you to walk through it so now here we can see that there is mm, there is a discord server now the link that we copy just paste it over here like this and this will give us a page to access our server and now the server name which is pythonista we have to assign the bot to it so let's click authorize and then there is a 
Yes, so I am not a robot. Okay. Now you can cl close the page. Now you can see the TTS bot has spawned. Now we need to again open that page and there we have it. Now refresh it. And this is our bot. Now we need to open it and we need to copy the uh, where is that going to what and we need to copy the token now in here as you can see we have the token over here so this takes the token and identifies your what and runs it on your server where you have assigned it so let me walk through the code walk you through the code so this creates the uh, discord object this runs it over here and then after that we have a few asynchronous functions now what they will do is they will all run at the same time asynchronously so we are decorating it using the client dot event method so this asynchronous function on ready uh, tells us if the bot is ready or not so it will print bot ready when it has connected and this on message will be triggered whenever there is a message so first it will print the message author then the message content in this format okay so after that it come it checks if the message author is someone else and not our our own message because it if it responds to our own message it will be like a forever loop so if it is our own message it just does nothing returns nothing and after that it has a second condition which checks if the message starts with this this is important because there may be another people other people in the uh, server which might be talking to each other so we do not want the bot to respond to it we only want to respond when someone talks to the bot so for that this is the symbol so whenever we will enter this symbol into the server the bot will know that we are talking to it and after that it prints uh, whatever we have told it to say and it says TTS initiated and then the server and after that uh, it initiates that message that that command that I had shown you and after that it sends a message that the TTS has been successfully done so let us run it so to run it we need to say python3 bot.py it will take a few seconds depending on your internet connection and it says bot ready we know that it is ready now go into your server and we need to tell it to say something so we will say r hello human r hello human and you can say it is working pretty fine let us do something else hello YouTube Our hello YouTube and it is not that good as part TTS 63 but that's what you get in Raspberry Pi since this is not Windows that's it for this video see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I, I know I've done it after a long time so I'll be uploading some more Raspberry Pi videos and there's some cool stuff coming up Thank you for watching. See you next time.